Hello everyone, by special request I'm going to go ahead and do a quick video here on how to utilize the text buttons click event here in the Juice Toolkit. And we'll go ahead and get started right away with the introducer. I've got this open up right here. Let's go ahead and create a new GUI application. I'm going to go ahead and name this one uh, button click. Real straightforward there. Let's go into my documents folder and Juice Linux projects and we'll go ahead and save it there and let's go ahead and create that and real quick let's get started by removing the modules that we don't need i'll have a little bit more information about that in the description and let's get rid of cryptography also and i think that's basically it we've got those removed Great, let's go ahead and right click here in the source tree and we'll go to add new GUI component. And we'll go ahead and name this GUI. And we've got that added over here, you can see. And let's go ahead and delete these ones since we will not be using those. And let's go over to our main C++ class right here. And we're going to select this section. That's that previous component that we just deleted. Let's go ahead and rename this GUI, which is for the new one we just created. And let's go ahead and change this down here, this other reference. And we'll reference our new GUI C++ class this way. And now let's go ahead and go into the GUI C++ class. And we've got here the visual editor for it. Let's go ahead and right click and select text editor to get started. We've got that down here. And let's click and select a text button. There we go. All right, so now we've got a text button and a text editor. Let's go ahead and go over to the code section. And fortunately, this is actually very simple. We'll just go down here to the bottom of the page and we'll see juice has already added in a button click event for this button and in this particular case we've got this section of code if button that was clicked equals text button which is the name of the text button that we created it's got this already set up for us and all we need to do is we'll add in whatever code we want to use there and in this particular case let's go ahead and go with something really really simple i'm going to go ahead and change the text editor's text so that when somebody clicks on the button, it duplicates the text that's already in the text editor. Real simple. So let's just go ahead and type in uh, text editor and set text. That's the method you use to set a piece of text in the text editor. And in this particular case, we'll also want to use uh, text editor uh, get text. Um, and actually, we'll go ahead and duplicate that with the plus sign here and text editor get text one more time. So that should basically duplicate it. And that's basically it. So let's go ahead and save that. I'll just save the project just to be on the safe side. And I'll go ahead and open up my window in the background for the project folder. And I'm going to go ahead and make my way over to that folder and that you can see it right here, the button clicked folder. And let's go into the builds section there and the Linux make file. And I'm going to open up a terminal here. And let's type in make. And you can see it's going through the build process. I'll try and speed this up if it takes a little too long. Fortunately, when we removed those modules earlier in introducer, that actually cut down a bit of the build time here because it doesn't have to actually compile those particular C++ classes. And just to mention here as well, I've got some previous videos that you can watch that go through all of the little details that I've just kind of sped through in this one. Okay, here we go. The linking process is finished, so this is all built, and we'll find our executable file here in the build folder, and that's this right here. You can see the executable down here. Uh, well, I actually can't see it on screen when I move the mouse, but the executable file is 14 megabytes. You can get that down to size by using a full release. I'll try and go through that in a future video, but basically you've got the 
uh, button click application that we created and you can see the but the button here doesn't do a single thing unless there's something typed in here and it duplicates that continually ah. click 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 there we go and it's just a dead simple application all it does is just copy what's copy what's in the text editor but hopefully that helps you get an idea for how to use button click events here in juice it's really simple in comparison to the text editor that i went through in the previous video but anyway that's basically it i hope you uh find this helpful take care